Hi friends, welcome to our Lakshmi's Physics classes. In this video, I am going to explain the previously asked questions from units and measurement. Let's see the first question. Unit of thermal conductivity is. See, thermal conductivity K is equal to formula Q into distance upon area of cross section multiplied by temperature multiplied by time see here q is heat energy and x is the distance a is area of cross section and capital t is temperature and small t is time okay now let us write the si units for each of the term q is heat energy so joule x is distance so meter area of cross section meter square and t is temperature kelvin time is second okay see here 1 meter and 1 meter will get cancelled the remaining terms joule upon see here i am writing this second this side and kelvin into meter okay this joule per second is nothing but watt okay for that power is equal to work done upon second so which is equal to joule per second which is equal to watt okay now here it is meter inverse 1 and kelvin inverse 1 this is the SI unit let's see here what meter inverse 1 and kelvin inverse 1 a is the correct option let's see the next question the damping force of an oscillator is directly proportional to the velocity unit of constant of proportionality or let's see here force is directly proportional to velocity so f is equal to kv here k is the constant of proportionality so k is equal to f upon v again write the formula for force mass into acceleration upon v now write the si unit for mass kilogram acceleration meter per second square upon velocity meter per second see here meter and meter will get cancelled so kg and here one second one second will get cancelled so s to the power of minus 1 see here kg s to the power of minus 1 c is the correct option let's see the next question the unit of permittivity of free space see force between two charges is equal to formula f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 upon r square okay here we have to find for epsilon naught so epsilon naught is equal to 1 by 4 pi is a constant so here q1 q2 i am writing as q1 q square just and here it is f r square now write the si units for all this epsilon naught is equal to constant has no units q is coulomb so coulomb square upon force is newton newton here r is the distance between two charges so meter square coulomb square upon newton meter square c is the correct option next question screw gauge has a least count of 0 0.1 millimeter and there are 50 divisions in its circular scale which of the screw gauge is so to find the pitch of the screw gauge formula is least count multiplied by number of circular scale divisions okay which is equal to already given the least count is 0 0.01 into number of circular scale divisions is given as 50 so which is equal to 0 0.5 millimeter see here c is the correct option next question 
an experiment the percentage of error occurred in the measurement of physical quantities a b c and d are 1% 2% 3% and 4% respectively then the maximum percentage of error in the measurement x where x is equal to a square and b power 1 by 2 c power 1 by 3 and d cube will be so given equation is x is equal to a square b power 1 by 2 upon c power 1 by 3 and d cube to calculate the percent uh, maximum error formula is z is equal to suppose a power p b power q and c power r so to calculate the percentage of error delta z upon z into 100 is equal to p delta a by a plus q into delta b upon b plus here it is r into delta c by c hold multiply with 100 this is the formula so apply this formula here so we will get delta x upon x into 100 is equal to see here 2 into delta a by a plus 1 by 2 into delta b upon b plus 1 by 3 into delta c upon c plus 3 into delta d upon d okay whole multiply with 100 so we are calculating the percentage of error so which is equal to now substitute the values delta a uh, given as 1% plus 1 by 2 into delta b is 2 plus 1 by 3 into delta c is 3 plus 3 into d is 4 which is equal to 2 2 will get cancel and 3 3 will get cancel 2 plus 1 plus 1 and here it is 3 4 or 12 total is 16 percent let us see here c is the correct option next question the main scale of vernier calipers has n divisions per 1 cm n divisions of the vernier scale coincides with n minus 1 divisions of main scale so n vernier scale divisions is equal to n minus 1 main scale divisions given that so here one vernier scale division is equal to n minus 1 upon n main scale divisions okay uh, to find the least count formula is least count is equal to one main scale division minus one vernier scale division so substitute here in the place of vernier scale this we will get one main scale division minus n minus 1 upon n into main scale division okay now multiply one main scale division minus n by n main scale division minus into minus plus 1 main scale division see here n n will get cancel one main scale division and one main scale division will get cancel here upon n is there so which is equal to 1 by n main scale division but given that one main scale of vernier calipers has n divisions per centimeter that means one main scale divisions is equal to 1 by n centimeters so substitute here one may at the place of main scale division so 1 by n into 1 by n centimeters so which is equal to 1 by n square centimeter see here c is the correct option i hope you understand please do like the video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel